Uh, hello, today we will learn about basic uh, ABD robotics. It's similar part of conveyor robot. So I was uh, run the simulation and later talk uh, how how this work. What we what we need to do to run this. Okay, so ju I just play this into this box part. It's drawing. It's moving about this conveyor. This smart component is uh, responsible for this movement. This is sensor. Now it's sensed. Uh, robot start. Uh, move from one to another. Uh, conveyor. Uh, drop it at different position and give it its go. And and simulation ended. Okay, so now we analyze what I doing. So first, mm, uh, jump home, jump home. Okay, jump home, jump home. So I just mm, create this smart component. As you see, it's one, it's two conveyor, and two sensor. Uh, and I just add some linear tracker. It's it's how to do this in in my previous video, and add some basic vacuum gripper. Super easy. It it's too in my previous video, so I will not discuss about this in this part. So I just focus on this conveyor. So let's uh, open this edit component design. And this is how it look. This is source, this is input, so you just click this, uh, write some uh, value mm. and uh, drag this to execute. Maybe I did I, I need to do it. Okay. So mm, copy of the source uh, box, this part uh, is to, is sensed by two sensor, it's plain sensor for conveyor two and conveyor one. And this sensor large is responsible for a uh, linear movement. So this, mm, wait a second. Uh, so this will stop when uh, this box, this conveyor will stop when this box uh, will be here, and this sensor, plain sensor uh, four, will be activated. As you see, when here will be one, it's activated bar. Uh, it's not sensed part. When this sensor sent this box, it it will be changed status to one and uh, activate this uh, logic as a latch and stop linear linear. As you see, it's connected to reset and stop this linear uh, linear move. Uh, no con conveyor. This linear move uh, responsible for uh, moving moving object on this. Like you see in this conveyor, I have. Oh, in this conveyor, I have uh, move forward. So you will see this direction uh, is one thousand. Mm. In second conveyor, I have uh, minus one thousand. So different uh, moving to different side is important because if you uh, don't do this, then will be mm, don't go like this. But uh, in the uh, reverse part, in the go the go the that same like this conveyor, need to change this if you want to uh, have different uh, di direction of movement. Okay, so it's basic sensor, 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 and it's uh, now it's let's talk about uh, ra ra rapid code. So the set do is uh, is waiting for. Uh, signal the vacuum gripper is signal from this gripper uh, is setting uh, this uh, this signal to zero it and is this signal is uh, wait a second this signal is uh, responsible for uh, attach object uh, in and detach object if this signal will change value to zero it detach any object and when in 
uh, at that uh, when uh, it's triggered this uh, bool parameter is triggered to one it's attack object you you can choose find closet object or part but sometimes find closet object with uh, attach a more different part like conveyor or something like sensor or something like that it's annoying mm. so uh, next it's wait uh, digital input conveyor sensor with signal get a signal from this sensor uh, i just waiting 50 seconds when this sensor uh, is true is when this sec when this box will be uh, will move all all, all this uh, part in conveyor and go in a big place uh, here this sensor will uh, sense out and give me one so uh, ne next this mm, movement will be activated so uh, so just a robot go here and take this object uh, pick up uh, wait a second set uh, the vacuum gripper uh, and move now it simulate vacuum uh, so object can be, be moved up uh, now move up wait one second move to next point move to another point wait and move to another conveyor wait one second and uh, release vacuum so object will fall and again back, back to the position so let's uh, analyze this one more time so let's reset this jab home jab home oh, and run this so like you see we waiting for this sensor you can see this marker it's saying where is actual co or actual position of code oh like you see okay so that was it our entire program mm. so we have just uh, we have uh, this basic signal uh, connected from smart, smart component the part okay if mm, the part okay is uh, true when a uh, sensor find this box and send it to our system i just choose i just create this system in controller so if you if you create this like this signal uh, just create a new signal digital uh, input you can see in previous in previous movie how i can okay that was it thank you for watching to the